Precision International is proud to have been named a GM Supplier of the Year for five consecutive years by General Motors. Precision is in the bag. One of the insights we at Precision International have gained over the years is the understanding that the best way to develop a part for a transmission kit is to get that transmission to our engineering department. We bring transmissions in from all over the world and let our engineers tear them apart. Take a look. Hi, I'm Scott Wilson. I'm the Assistant Engineer and Technical Manager at Precision International. I've been with the company for over 15 years. Uh, amongst my various responsibilities is kit development. Uh, one of the most important things that we do is have the actual transmission on the bench to tear down. Today I'm in the process of tearing down a GetRag 6DCT250, otherwise known as a Ford PowerShift DPS6. Here I have some of the parts that I have already removed from the transmission case and their corresponding seals. Next, I'm gonna remove the ECM, the electronic control module. And here you see on the electronic control module, we have two O-rings sealing it to the case. Next, I'm gonna take the case half off. Now, upon removing the case half, what we'll do is we'll look inside the transmission for all necessary seals to go into our rebuilding kits. Uh, such as O-rings, metal clad seals, molded pistons, as well as steel clutches and friction plates. This here is the electronic control module, and these here are the electronic actuator motors. Now some of the seals that we did find are these two small metal clad seals, which seal on these actuators. Another thing we'll be looking for, as I said, are metal clad seals such as this one right here on the case, which will help seal the axles. After the teardown of the transmission is complete, we'll take all the parts over to the part washer. They'll then be stored in bins and put in their designated spots in the teardown room. After that's all complete, we'll bring all our seals into the office and start identifying them. If it's a part we don't have, we'll then proceed to draw a blueprint on it. After the blueprint is drawn, the parts will follow the process for kit development. Thanks, Scott. Does a thorough transmission teardown take time and resources? Yes, but it's an essential step in the process of developing new kits. We think it's well worth the investment.